Okay, uh, basically I'm getting quite a number of queries about getting the OAuth Z, which is Z attack proxy, to work with WebGoot. Right, the linkage to configure inside the browser, I think is confusing quite a number of people. So uh, that's why I decided to create this small little tutorial to help. I have already launched my WebGoat, all right, uh, in the background, of course, but I haven't actually called it out. And I have already launched my Zap, which is now on the screen. Uh, so I will just start it first. Now, if you are using Zap, uh, you can actually scroll down a little bit and you will find that there is a section where you can actually launch browser. The default browser for Zap is actually this JX browser, which I will launch right now. Okay, let me just launch it. This is the default browser that comes uh, with Zap. It has no fancy option, plugin or anything, and it's just a very simple browser. And you can see that basically you can already start to explore your application. All right, uh, you can read through it. But anyway, I will just go into my web code. Okay, I'm using the port 8080. And I can already see the login screen. Uh, of course, you need to register. All right, but I already registered, so just let me do a login just to show that everything is working. So, all right, I'm already logging in. So you see, all right, I'm over here. And uh, if you notice at the site, which is this part here, you are already seeing a lot of packets going through. I'm actually not connected to the network at this moment all right so all these packets are actually going through this uh, zap is actually belonging to the web good itself see or you can see the URL all belongs to web good so this is a very fast way to get the connection up however uh, as I mentioned just now this is not the only browser you can launch uh, of course I'm not gonna use uh, IE and I have stopped using Firefox for uh, my uh, pen test anymore. All right, so let me just launch my Chrome, which is Google Chrome, to show you that it works just as well. All right, so again, you get the same message. I'll open the tab so that it doesn't confuse you. And do the same thing. Go host, web good. And of course, I'll just log in just to show you. Okay, let me read my password. Log in. And log in successful. The only difference is uh, because you're using uh, Google Chrome, so Google Chrome will actually tell you, hey, Chrome is being controlled by an automated test software, which actually is true because uh, Zap does have this ability to do automated testing so you can actually safely just ignore this or you can just close it all right so basically this is a very very quick way of getting your zap to work with your web code and uh, you should not have much problem uh, sometimes you may have a number of security plugins inside your google chrome that is uh, causing problem all right if that is the case uh, you can always switch to its default browser which is this JX browser alright so I do believe that this will solve a lot of problems okay and uh, all the best alright keep on learning about cyber security okay and uh, if you have any real concern you can always post a message be below this uh, video and I'll see what I can do alright no promises but I'll do my best